This article contains affiliate links. We will receive a commission on any sales we generate from it. Learn more table OF content. Does the Fall Guy have a post credit scene? The Fall Guy is in cinemas now and brings Ryan Gosling to the forefront of Hollywood's CD underbelly in this action packed, stunt filled rom. Taking on the role of Colt Seavers, the Drive Star battles organized crime to clear his name while keeping intact the reputation of his director and lover Jody Marino. While we didn't love the movie, there is still a lot to dissect once credits roll. While all things end well for the pair at the end of the movie, there are some extra scenes to be seen once the story has come to an end. Fans will no doubt have some questions about who they saw in the Avengers-styled post credit scene, and we have all the answers you need. Be warned, however, this article has full spoilers for the full guy, so do not read if you have not already seen the movie. Watch every film at Odeon as many times as you want £14.99 view deal with an Odeon Limitless membership. You can watch every film as often as you like for a flat monthly fee. Not only that, but Limitless members also get access to screenings for unreleased movies as well as 10% off food and drink. Does The Fall Guy have a post credit scene? Yes, The Fall Guy has two scenes that take place in the middle and during the credits. The first scene is a showstopper, as it returns to Tom Ryder, Aaron Taylor Johnson, and Gail Mayer, Hannah Waddingham, just before they are arrested on the set of Metal Storm but fans may have noticed something. The police officers who arrive to take the evildoers away are played by none other than Lee Majors and Heather Thomas. These actors are best known for playing Colt Seavers and Jodie Banks in the original 1980s TV show The Fall Guy, of which the 2024 movie is loosely based on. This cameo is undoubtedly a great nod towards the original series, and also follows the trend of original series actors appearing in reboots, like Johnny Depp in 21 Jump Street. Watch every film at Odeon as many times as you want £14.99 view deal with an Odeon Limitless membership. You can watch every film as often as you like for a flat monthly fee. Not only that, but Limitless members also get access to screenings for unreleased movies as well as 10% off food and drink. That isn't the only post credit scene in The Fall Guy, however. After the story update comes to an end, viewers are treated to credits with behind-the-scenes shots of how many of the stunts were filmed and put together. The Fall Guy put an emphasis on stunt performers and how they are the lifeblood of many films. As a result, the Fall Guy practiced what it preached and showcased exactly how much effort was put into making the movie look and feel authentic within its stunts. Producer Kelly McCormick recently told Yahoo how these stunts were a main feature of the picture. McCormick said, when stunt performers go into the job of being stunt performers they want to do stunts and there's times when you might do a fall down the stairs or get punched, or get hit by a car, all that kind of stuff. But in this one we did some such epic scenes that actually we were making dreams come true for those guys, and that was incredibly exciting. We had, a world record in the canon role first and foremost, those are hard to do that's why they're called world records. Then, we had, the jump over the crevasse, and then the high fall was Troy Brown's personal best. It just was so exciting to be able to be adding to their careers, and there was a lot of joy in that. The Fall Guy is out right now. Watch The Fall Guy as many times as you want at the cinema with an Odeon Limitless card. Get yours here. Watch every film at Odeon as many times as you want £14.99 view deal with an Odeon Limitless membership. You can watch every film as often as you like for a flat monthly fee. Not only that, but Limitless members also get access to screenings for unreleased movies as well as 10% off food and drink.